The region beta paradox is not an interesting place for anyone to be. It's not a place where you're gonna feel inspired, passionate, lively, energetic. It's the place where most people could spend their whole life stuck through. Hello you lovely infinite beings right onto your path of exploring the infinite. Today we're talking about the region beta paradox and it was uh, coined by Dan Gilbert and it basically states that it's better for us to be in intense discomfort rather than mild discomfort. It's better for us to be even more distressed than just, you know, regularly neutrally stressed living on our lives because only then we are triggered to take action. Now, <laughs> we all know that we are spiritual beings. We create through energy. If you're trying to create from being matter to create matter through matter, which is using your ego, your control, your thoughts, your forced action, your going against the current in order to achieve your dreams, then this is for you. Then this, you know, it's your matter trying to create matter, like Joe Dispenza says it all the time, rather than if your energy trying to create, to creating, to create matter. Because once you understand your true nature, once you know that you are more than what just your ego tells you you are, that you understand that we all are an extension of source, of the universe, of God, and God works through us, that we all have this cre energy of creation, then the beta region, the region beta paradox is not going to be so meaningful because, yes, it's true that the majority, even if you are spiritual, even if you understand your true nature, even if you are connected and tuned and tapped in, generally you wouldn't like to take yourself out of your comfort zone if you have everything so stable because we are driven by survival. Sometimes, you know, our survival instinct kicks in and it keeps us from taking lots of actions. It keeps us from venturing into the unknown where everything is fluid and nothing is stable and anything could happen. You know, just living on trust is not enough to our egos. It's not enough from a survival perspective. It is, you know, if you want to know more about trusting and its relation to creation and manifesting, because it's one of the most, or if not the most important factor for manifestations. You can watch my last video just posted yesterday. And even if we know that we are spiritual beings, we sometimes wait for a trigger, for a trauma to trigger us to take action for change. In other words, the region beta paradox is saying that an example would be that if you are in just a neutral relationship for and it's not abusive, but you don't have that much attention, you're not really fulfilled, you don't feel you're connected, neither of the partners are trying to making it to make it work out. No one is taking it, putting any effort to make it work out, and it's, it does not feel seamless and effortless, but rather built it's it, it's built on forced actions and forced efforts and it feels like almost chores. So you would, but it at least feels stable. You have, you know, you're living together. You have joint bills to pay and you're just stuck in this mundane 3D reality. It's worse for you than it was than if had the relation been much worse and it was abusive and completely toxic and ne completely negligent and no effort is being put whatsoever by either partners, not even forced effort. 
that would be better for you because it's going to trigger you to take an action similarly if you're trying to go to reach somewhere that's the common graph representation by Dan Gilbert and then it's a one mile uh, destination then you're just going to walk towards it rather than take your bicycle for example because now you're thinking what if um, what if where, where am I gonna park my bicycle what how is it gonna be safe there is it worth it should I take it out of the garage so so on and so forth in comparison to if it was like three or four miles far then you would feel as if you have to take the bicycle and then eventually you're going to get there faster than walking a mile so riding toward a three four miles journey is going to be take, take you to your destination faster than if you had just walked through toward the one mile journey destination and so essentially it brings into perspective how we function as human beings because it is true joe dispenza says it all the time for example through his endless researches and studies that people wait till things get so bad before they try to work on themselves, before they start meditating and trying to understanding how you're coming from an understanding that your mental state, that your mindset has an effect on how your life is happening. And, and now this is evident through plenty of researches and studies and it's not just now spiritual or supernatural or magical although everything is magical it, but that's not the point what I mean is that it's not science fiction because at some point people used to think the majority of people would be able to say that it's science fiction but now it's more of science it's proved it's proved through, through many different studies many different researchers researchers and scientists and everyone is saying that thought what you think and what you feel has an effect on your life and so coming from this understanding people would only start to change this their inner reality to reflect through to, to, to because in need of reflecting positive or better in their external reality only when they are triggered by harsh circumstances like a trauma, like a crisis, that's when you are pushed to take, you know, to, to, to act upon your inner calling and connect more and be more in tune with, with your environment, be more accepting, be more content and satisfied, understanding that everything is working out for your highest good. But by then, it would be so difficult because... If a crisis, if you're going through a crisis or a traumatizing experience, it it's very difficult to pull yourself out of it. It's now, now you're not just trying to create, although you're in a comfortable place, the region beta paradox, the region beta, and you're comfortable, but you're not very fulfilled. You don't feel that purposeful or meaningful calling. So you try to act upon your inner calling and create from a place of calmness and peace. Now you're trying to create out of desperation. And that's not a very <laughs> creative place because by then you're going to be in survival. You, you're just so desperate to change your reality. You're, you're desperate to... To change whatever has this trauma has caused and go into something that was even much better than what was your life before the trauma and then you see how far the distance here gets you see how longer the journey is because you're going to be filled with negativity you're going to be in maybe a fearful situation or you're going to be guilty you're going to feel bad about not taking action before this had happened to change your life towards something much better and avoid this kind of thing happening now you're going to be filled with all of these negative emotions that are just sucking you in and then you're trying to go against the current and that's where it gets very complicated for you to create because now you have two tasks rather than just one task. You have to get over what you are already feeling. Because this feeling that the trauma or crisis brings, it's so 
negative it's it, you can never create through what you can never shift your reality to a good if you're re- feeling bad if your thoughts are negative if you feel up waking if you wake up feeling negative if you wake up feeling and so that's why it's much better to start before that to realize your spiritual nature and understand the power you have and how it affects your reality and not waiting to function by their region beta paradox not waiting to be an example of their region beta paradox because i've been there and it's so hard i'm coming up now and it's changing and i've managed to get hold of the best part of the hardest part of it that's why it's better to create from a place of joy rather than from a place of uh, trauma and desperation to create out of love for the future and love for your life rather than out of a place of hate and uh, despise for what you're currently going through That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in.